All right, people, welcome back. More Vitamin Y. So today is Thursday, and that means that we are using Yang Zingy Bell or Cosmic -y Bell. For those of you who are new to the channel, you're like, what's up with the Cosmic -y Bell? I, I made the deck before Yang Zings came out here in the TCG, so they're, of course, called the Cosmic. So it's Cosmic -y Bell, and then they changed the Yang Zing, and I was like, fuck it, I ain't changing the name. Mm, Cosmic -y Bell. Sounds better than Yang Zingy Bell anyway. It sounds mystical. Cosmic -y Bell. Like, ooh, like you bell in space. Could you both survive in space? Well, like, I mean, technically in the anime, she was in space, but she was on a, the card was in a rocket, so I'm not sure. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and at least attempt to get Yubel more involved with the with the deck, and it clearly seems like I kind of did, you know? Uh, even though I really didn't change too much, like, when I really sat down, I thought about it, I'm like, there's not much I can do. There's really not much I can do to, before I, like, start clogging my deck with too much Yubel. And, you know, there's, there's, there's the ratio, so, of course, we're running one Rotom. So we can get that one Armageddon Knight, and then one Misty Tomato, because that one Misty Tomato can summon me Bell, or it can summon me uh, Jiao 2 or the Armageddon Knight, so, you know, that also helps a little bit. So, right now we got our one Rota, which is great, so we're going to go ahead and Rota it up. It's like, oh, Torrental Tribute. Yeah, alright, if you guys haven't seen uh, the live video of the top five favorite trap cards, then you guys might want to go see that, because... Spoiler alert, there's a couple in, in my hand right now. <laughs> there's a couple in my hand right now. I'm just going to take it slow. I'm not going to set the torrental, because if he wants to MST my limit burst, more power to you, but you're not going to MST my torrental too, so more power to you. So, and if shit hits the fan, I mean, at least I got my Yang Zing still. I mean, they're a little slow, but yeah. You know, it's it's like it's like uh, Gradles, Gradles. I played against Gradles, and... The deck's a little slow, you know, to say, I mean, besides, you know, oh, you're destroying me, I take your, I take your monster, the deck definitely comes across a little bit slow, so. Oh, well, at least I don't have to worry about any background. We are going up against Super Heavy Samurai. Oh, I had such a hard time with this on Monday when I was using Teller Knights. So, he's going to go ahead and use its effect to go ahead and tribute special summon a Super Heavy Samurai. Like, they got this color, they, they, they could summon from the hand, they could summon from the deck. Like, for a deck that doesn't run any background, they sure got this deck really covered well, just because... Uh, their monsters have such good effects, you know? Like, the Gongetsuga, the power, I think they changed his name to, like, Gong or something. So target, if it, if it attacks, it inflicts pierce damage, this card sends him from the field to the graveyard. Wait, why did you turn into attack mode? Turn back to defense mode. Well, you don't, you don't... Oh, well, I guess technically you have to go ahead and change his battle position just so you can declare your attack. Uh, I believe that was 21? Yeah. 21? I would say, why did you turn to attack? I don't think I've ever dueled against Super Heavy Samurai here on uh, on uh, the end. So uh, that kind of caught me off guard. I'm like, wait, why did you turn to attack mode? Because you can't attack while you're in defense mode. Yeah. You know? Despite this deck, Konami didn't frick it. Uh, Konami. Oh wow, I'm just thinking about Konami. Uh, the the people on DM didn't probably program in like, oh yeah, you know, Super Heavy Samurai they can attack while in their defense position. So we'll go ahead and just program that in. Like they probably didn't do that. So. So, of course, we'll go ahead and get our up oh, result in phase one. Get, get my effect. The thing is, he's going to get another search. Like, that's a crazy thing, but there's not much that Super Heavy Samurais can do against Terror, so. I mean, unless, you, unless I'm wrong, and he can, but I would like to see that. So, I'm just going to wipe him. He's going to die. This is going to die, but he's going to get a search. So, if this card is sent for failed to grab which it is, you can add one Super Heavy Samurai monster from your deck to your hand. Look at that. Equip card to equip the Super Heavy Samurai. Not only does it give him Pierce, but then searching, too. And this guy, he can go ahead and. Uh, Tribute so when either player's turn when a card effect is activated that targets Super Heavy Samurai, you can banish this card and get the activation if you destroy it. Like, look at them, both of these monsters are really good. This is just the you know, the boss monster. Like I said they, they, they're gonna definitely uh, go ahead and make it up for the fact that uh, they did not have a lot of a uh, uh, oh, a lot. They don't run any spells and traps because their monsters are so fucking good. They, they, they wanted to make sure that this deck wasn't gonna be absolute booty. Get your effect. So, I want to see how he's going to take out my terror. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Because most of the time I see this deck, I mean, they can beat over shit, but, you know, how are you going to handle something that, you know, can't be destroyed by battle? Yeah. And I don't target you. So, and I drew into um, my powerful Yang Zing creation, so I might be able to do something with that. Or he's going to go ahead and grab himself and not, some more uh, Ben Gay. I mean, Ben K. <laughs> No, nah, I'm not gonna talk shit about this deck. This deck is fine. It, 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 it's much better than I could have made it. Like, you straight up said, alright, it's, it's a deck that 
runs no spells and traps and attacks with his booty with defense i've been like oh well uh, defense thing's not really creative you've done that with a couple of monsters in the past but you know that whole like oh no spells no traps like traps eh? you know like maybe t toss in a couple row of creeds but no spells no spells no traps just monsters sounds like my type of deck you know i'm definitely i like showing off my strength and my strength of my monsters and it seems like this duel might be uh a battle of the monster effects <laughs> Yeah, you know, my floaty Yang Zings and Yubel versus his uh, powerful samurai booty defense and, you know, good quick monsters. Right, so. Oh, oh my god, two creations. Oh, it's too good. It's too good. Too good. <laughs> Go ahead and summon and let's start getting some damage in. Like I said, I'm, I don't think, I'm not sure if they, I think they have some kind of battle fader or something like that, but I don't think he's going to block. I don't think they can. Oh, yeah, they can exceed, actually. You know what? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> I think I misclicked. I think I misclicked. I'm going to hold on to that. The question is, should I activate my creation? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and activate my creation. Button phase. Effects. I'm going to go ahead and summon Sua and Gia. I said, they do have an Exiton, so... I mean, they can go an Exiton. I mean, I have Torrental, but they, he can Exiton me, so... So, like I said, he might have a difficult time trying to figure out what to do. And if he kills my Yang Zing to his big Bang Gay, I mean, I get double summon. That, this thing creation is so good. Like, I get the effect off the Yang Zing and off creation. It's like, damn, you don't want to kill my monsters. You did not want to kill my monsters. If that shit hits the fan, I can flip this turn tool, but I think I might take it slow. It's not too much of a threat right now. Even if he summons Big Benge. I saw I was thinking. Your opponent can you can special on this card. This card is normal summon or special summon. You can target one level four or whatever. Special summon that. XC. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he X on me. So I got special summon scales. Special summon piercer. You gonna triple them both for ben, Big Ben K and then search off his piercer? Because if you exceed, this card isn't sent from the field to a graveyard, so you don't get the effect. This card's just like, oh, well, if your opponent controls two or more, you can special summon it, but it, you still get the effect when it's normal summon. Go ahead and, and it has like an immediate esque effect, so that's power too. So I'm just special track cards every special summon this card, or this card special summon this way, you can special summon monsters except for super hammer sound monsters. Uh, it's just kind of distributed by the tribute summon of Super Hammer and Seven Monsters. So great, yeah, and you have no special. You can special summon this card. Okay. Well, it looks like you might go ahead and sink ten into uh, Susano Oo, Susano Oo. Well, I think you can grab like a spell card out of the graveyard or something. I think, like, if you want my Roto. Your machines. I would say, are you warriors? Like, no, your machines. So, Sus Susano, Susano, right? You can only special summon Super Hammer and Seven. So here he goes. Oh no, he has the one, uh... Oh no, no, he's gonna summon. I'm gonna say, don't, doesn't he have like a level 6 Heavy Storm guy? Uh... I mean? <laughs> of me? Or of him? Or of Heavy Samurai? Alright. So, it can attack the if it does apply damage on it once per turn during either player's turn. If it knows what you can target one spell or trap card in your opponent's graveyard and set it to your side of the field. So, you can go ahead and take... One of my uh, spell or trap cards, which is fine. He can have the limit reverse, which may be useful to him. Is anybody? Yeah, he has a couple monsters. Limit reverse wouldn't be terrible. The Rota is pretty useful though. So, he is thirty-eight hundred attack. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay, my limit reverse. Use it when you want to. <laughs> like I said, I think he could have got it himself. It's made it all complicated and shit. I 
Okay. So, target one face up monster, send it, and this card, the Hood Regatta, then special summon one from your extra deck. Oh, so he's just gonna summon the Heavy Storm guy. But he controls the back row. Alright, so he's gonna send it. Synchro summon a Heavy Storm whose level is equals to the total original level of those two monsters in the graveyard. Okay. Oh, and it says in your graveyard. I might go ahead and torrental. Yeah, I'm a torrental. Like I said, you still get your effect, but I'm a torrental on summon. Like, fuck it. Okay, let's go Ultimate Nightmare. Facts. Someone else, Nightmare and Sua. Since they both go off at the same time and start a chain to each other. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh. Support. <laughs> Look at me. I'm so damn humble. I don't even know when people are fans of mine. <laughs> I'm sitting okay, I guess. I'm not in a terrible position, but I'm not in a great one either. Because it's still, this card, it was Synchro Summon, so. And this was like, you could destroy all your opponents. Yep, so. I would still go off. You can only special summon Samurai Monsters. So he still got to play, that's a crazy thing. And of course, Ultimate Nightmare is kind of just meh against him. It's because I inflict damage to the attack, so they got all this booty, so I'll attack, I'll kill him, and he only take 500, so it's just like, what? <laughs> so now what? Just gonna end, alright. So, obviously I know he has the limit reverse. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attack if he wants to play the limit reverse. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and attack him, because there's really no threat. If he wants to play the limit reverse, I'm just gonna kill your uh, monster. How much attack do you have? Twelve, okay. Whew, can't summon let me reverse and get a search off of that. Uh you can summon him, but he doesn't really do anything. You can summon him. You can summon him. Mm -hmm. Okay, just gonna poke you for the nineteen. Play the limit reverse if you got him. Alright, just gonna take nineteen. Uh set the oasis and I'll set the creation and then my turn. Go ahead. Is he gonna activate the limit reverse during my end phase? Yep. <laughs> limit reverse summon him. They can special summon a level four or lower super heavy standard mind summons graveyard. Oh, see, I'm looking, I'm looking, look at this. He has good monsters. I like this duel just because it's a battle of good monsters. Wow, he's gonna heavy ass. He's gonna heavy storm me again. God, that's annoying. <laughs> but hey, I mean, not even heavy storm. Heavy storm. Happy feather duster. That's power. That is power. I completely. I didn't do. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of his play at all. I said he still has some. He definitely has some plays, but if he heavy storms me again, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and summon you, and summon Terra again. So, it's so annoying. Well, there goes all my fucking creations. Like, damn. So I'm going to pair her again. <clears throat> what is that? He, them, them monster effects are so powerful. 
He's like, oh yeah, let me sync with your monster. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, damn, I can't, I can't even pull off any Yang Zing effects. I'm just, thank God I haven't Yubel plays. He still got five cards in hand. That's crazy. He's just keeping up the resources. Like, I'm like, ah, my God. Good time. A good thing we're gonna have to do is get rid of this terror. If you get rid of this terror, then I only run one ultimate nightmare, so it's already on the field to no effect. So that would be a fine play if you can pull it off. Like I said, it's gonna be kind of difficult to get around both of them. If you destroy them simultaneously, then uh, of course terror starts a separate chain, and then can, then then can select uh, uh, ultimate nightmare on the grave. So. Super heavy, super heavy samurai are putting that work. Draw. I definitely need like some more revival. I need a combo better. I can't, I'm not really comboing that well. Do you have any other monster? I mean, in fact, no. I should probably kill you. I'm gonna kill you. You're not really threatened to kill you, and you're gonna die. I mean, your belt's gonna die, but so I might as well just do whatever and fuck point of damage. Of course, Ultimate Nightmare does not target, so. It's crazy, and he just goes back to my graveyard, so he still has no spells and traps in his graveyard. Crazy. He's, he's kind of drawn to six cards. He's like, he still has cards. That's craziness. I swear to God, if he fucking takes my fucking uh, Swanee again, smack the shit out of him. I'm summoning attack mode, right? Ah, attack position. Go ahead. Six cards in hand, still. <laughs> it's crazy! So you're gonna summon another flute guy, and flute guy special summon the big Ben K you have in your hand and attack my Beyond? It's a battle of the monster effects. I feel bad because I used Torrential Tribute. <laughs> Not that it really wouldn't matter, because. Those two samurai, I mean, Harry Samurai really couldn't have done much against my terror. I could have just, you know, wiped them, so. I really wouldn't have done much. Mask Chameleon, you're all cool story, bro. It's just, I really can't do much with you. Not right now, anyway. Oh. Right. I know it's that one guy who's like, oh, I can't be destroyed by battle, so. Yep, I don't know. So I just need to start getting a little bit more revival. I would love to go and talk to Beals right now. Beals would be great. It's going to take me a little while to get set up. At least I got like my Mask Chameleons, which of course I can't really use because I control Yubel. But he gets rid of my Yubel, then mm, the pain train will come. What other fours do I run in here? I mean, eights. I'm, I'm at eights. All right, you, you, you. Oh, what are you summoning? All right, you're going to go ahead and summon him. The monster effects are power. Go ahead and summon Arbalus. Arbalus, Soul Piercer. I thought his name was Arbalus. Go ahead and summon him. Oh my god, are you gonna go for freaking big old chocolatey covered Sasano again? Like, oh my god, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Synchro Shokan. Sasano no again. <laughs> And of course, look how, it's, how plus he's going. Like those two can just literally loop each other. 
He's putting that work. These super heavy samurai is just so good. <laughs> this is a long duel. So I'm assuming he's just going to go ahead and take my limit reverse again. Oh, he could take my torrental. Yeah, it's up to him. He could take my torrental. He could take my oasis. I feel like I'm a little bit too slow right now. I need to, I need to really need to pick up the pace. I'm not sinking quick enough. The terror keeps on destroying my monsters. If I just get puff off two monsters, then I would be fine. Right. Because like, can you take the uh, card, or do I have to like put it and give it to you? What's up? Okay. So complicated. So he's gonna go ahead and take my oasis. Like, look at all the good traps he's getting off of me. <laughs> so, what's the target of the equipped monster each turn? The first time the equipped monster. Be destroyed by whatever. it is not destroyed. Oh, okay. So now I can't even destroy him by card effects too. Oh my god, this duel is annoying. It says, is he gonna deck me out? I wish I could get a little bit more aggressive. Like I said, all I need to do is fucking summon Beals and I can go on the offensive. Oh, yeah, that that's definitely something. <clears throat> that is definitely something. It's weird that they don't have one that's like, oh yeah, the monster can't be destroyed by card effects with the Yang Zing. Oh, I got Soul Charge. Oh. Uh, let's see, who do I want to summon? I could summon, can I summon both? Hmm. Uh, let's see, I want to summon you, you, no, you, you, because then that would be that would be one synchro, and then I get one more. It could be you, and then you from my hand. I can normal summon still. Hmm. Thinking about going into Beals, which would just require me to summon you. Yeah, you. I have you on the field. I can summon you from my hand. But I can't attack. And I guess I can go into Baxia. What does Chow. I mean, yeah, what does Chow Feng say? This card synchro summon your opponent cannot activate effects of monsters with the same original attribute as the Yang Zing monster user synchro summon this. Hmm. So I might go ahead and summon a little bit more, like maybe one more, just so I can continue floating for two. So I'd like to float for two. I could float for two, I might be able to pull off some more plays. So I'm going to summon you. Definitely you. I can normal summon you, so that's it, so I need. Two. I need two more. So I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna summon three. Pay three thousand. Three thousand. I'm gonna go ahead and summon. Yeah. I'm gonna summon you. I'm gonna summon you. I'm gonna summon. You.
wait, no, I fucked that up. I fucked that up, god damn it. God fucking damn it, I fucked that up, because I was supposed to normal summon. Ugh, fuck. I can go for Trish. Yeah, I mean, I can go for Trish. Be you, you, and you. That'd be Trish. I can go for... Because I want to get rid of this guy. I want him to be gone, so... Thanks for the support. Yeah, I, I can go for Trish. You, you, and you. Go into Trish. Banish you. Banish something as we can. Banish something as graveyard. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And Trish. All right. I want you. I want. He can go ahead and change his effect, though. I want. Who the fuck's been driving me crazy? You are going to be a problem if I do, like, shit that targets during the phase, but I generally don't. Uh, you're kind of annoying, but I don't really care about you. I'm kind of looking for fuckers that have, like, graveyard effects. Let me get rid of this Arbalus. And I'll just roll a random die. One, two, three, four, five. That one. Summon the powerful Trish. I'm just doing places to do plays at this point. So. I still got one more you. I still got one more you. And I still got one more you. So. I said Terror is just fucking me right now. Which is funny. Can't attack. So I guess I'll just go ahead. Like I said, I'm surprised that there's not a Ying Zing that's like, oh, they can't be destroyed car fight. Like, why does Tiaudi suck so much? Like, hey, can't change control. Like, what? No. Should I make so the monster can't be destroyed by card effects? Like, that would have been great. Summon you. You two get destroyed. I'll, uh, your effect, your effect. Summon Gia. Summon whoever. And then hopefully top deck into something. Nah, I'm still going to take it slow. Right. Yeah, how come there's one that's just not like, oh yeah, it can't be destroyed by card effects? Why is it always like, can't be destroyed by Like, you see monsters on Synchro Summoning? Like, you think I really give a shit about them not being able to be destroyed by battle? So, of course, you can use my damn Oasis, which is just craziness. And he can go ahead and summon. I said, Sanlo is putting so much work taking shit from my graveyard. It's like just like the last time I dueled against this deck where they keep on taking spells and traps out of my graveyard and they put in work. This duel is lasting a lot longer than I wanted to. A lot longer. I don't even know what this guy did. Target one turn, I control, gain standard intent, and your player. Then instead, and since you don't control about as well, yeah, no, that's how it is. And then double the original defense. Ooh. Damn. I mean, it would have done too much against New Bell, of course, but, you know, my Yang Zing, so if I would have missed that, that could have died easily to that. So I need to be careful with my Yang Zing monsters, because you summon something that big old booty and then, you know, quips and doubles that defense, and I'm going to get wrecked. So. Maybe I need to be a little bit more cautious, especially paying three thousand for soul charge. The crazy thing is, he still has a lot of plays. Like he could still fuck me up. I'd say at this point, I'm probably just gonna lose this duel because I'm gonna pat her out. I'm already running out of steam when it comes to this deck. I mean, Yubel is nice and all, but I really don't have any more plays. That was my fault. I messed that up. I summoned too many monsters. I couldn't normal summon. See, I might just give him the duel just because I'm getting real tired. Even the person who was watching is getting bored. I'm getting bored too. This duel's gone on for a half an hour. Man, we go into time and shit. 
<laughs> In which case, I would definitely not play that Soul Charge. Except there's not much you can do against my Terror. I'm just going to sit here on your bells. There's not much you can do. Seems like we're just going to go until I deck out, so... I just summon Beyon and go into our Amades and attack. Fuck it, get him down life points. I don't care at this point. Can't use Mass Chameleon. Ixie ain't doing shit. You're my last G I have too. God, I wish I had. I'm, I'm running one, uh, freaking, uh. What's it called? The one spell card that puts it back, like the pot of rabbits, running one of that. I'm running one of that just so I can number generate it and 18 cards left, still don't draw it. But I draw a fucking U Bell constantly opening hands. Like that's fucking crazy. I can summon you and go for an Armadius, like I said at this point, it really doesn't matter. I don't care. I'll just attack with Beyond. Play the Oasis if you want to, because you're just going to kill your monster anyway, so. You just play the Oasis and then summon the Sasanowo, and Sasanowo can grab something else from my graveyard. You grab that Soul Charge, do plays with that. Alright, he's just going to take it. Still trying to deck then. Okay. I said they're summoned simultaneously, so. Aren't they summoned at the same time? In the same chain? Whatever. Whatever, I don't care. Yeah, because there's when you're punch, you special summon monsters, they're summoned in the same chain, so you'd only get one draw, but it's fine. I don't care. And so there's not much that's going to happen anyway. Like I said, I, if he can end this duel, just end this duel. I'm tired of it anyway. So go ahead, summon, equip it with your hand guy, double his attack. I don't care. I'm just, I'm tired of this duel. I just want this duel to be over. <sighs> can you end the duel already? Alrighty. I'm, 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 I'm really bored. <laughs> No, you can. I threw it through Oasis. Some of your defense guys. You, at this point, you probably got another one of them hand guys. This guy. So you can go ahead and equip. Double your defense attack. With, what, 7,000 fucking defense? You don't have another one of them hand guys? Activate the Oasis. That's crazy. Who would have thought that the run random card I would banish out of your hand would actually be something to put in that work? As I said, if you want to give Yang Zings a new card, give them something that they're, they can't be destroyed by card effects. That'd be great. The monster, the fusion monster. I mean, the synchro monster, because this is dumb. <laughs> This is dumb. Like, oh, can't be sure of battle. Like, and? I'm summoning fucking, like, Axion and shit. I'm summoning some beefy-ass fucking Synchro monster. You gotta give two fucks whether it can't be destroyed by battle or not? Like, no. I'm getting super bored. Super bored. Mm-hmm.
Super bored. This duel's got on forever. Say, so take it. Take it. I hope you use it, because I'd much rather have Ultimate Nightmare right now than fucking Terra Incarnate. Shit, if I got my Dark Hole, I would definitely go ahead and Dark Hole. Fuck it. I don't care at this point. <laughs> So, what is that? Is that also 19? I think that's 19 as well. I only got one Yangzing left. Look at all my revival just pulling. Like, if I had any of these cards, that'd be great. It's just like fucking yesterday, where I need what I, 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 I the shit that I need, but I'm not getting it. Doesn't that have like some kind of pierce damage guy? I can't remember if he had to like equip it or not. I'm all out of Yang Zing. I am out. <laughs> I am out. Unless I get fucking, uh, I forgot the name of that fucking card. I am all out. Still not what I need. <laughs> Still not what I need. Uh, you can go ahead and take a limit reverse if you want to, but ain't much shit I'm gonna do. Ain't much shit you gonna do. This duel is just. Like I said unless you can get over my terror, there's not much I can do. I need more fucking revival and shit. I burned through all my fucking yings with no fucking revival. Like that's crazy. Go ahead. Sucks. <laughs> he can't get around my tear and I can't really do anything. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, oh, my bad. My bad. Did not notice that. Know that. I guess so you can't select it again. So does that mean that Limit Reverse is banned? Banish? So does that mean the Limit Reverse is banished as well? I did not even notice that. I never really read that far down. That's the crazy thing. I can't even like normal some of these mass communities and get some poke damage in. Like I can't do shit. I literally cannot do shit right now. So of course this card's like it can't be normal summoned. Like no, nah, they didn't want to say it, so you can't even activate the fact it straight up cannot be normal summoned. Like that's craziness. Tell you the truth. When he turntles me, I'm not probably not even gonna summon Ultimate Nightmare. Like, fuck that. I got mass chameleons and shit. I could do plays that way. Let's see if I can bait him. 
in the end phase, I'll go ahead and activate my Oasis, summon one of my Yang Zings. He'll go ahead and Torrental. That's fine. Then I'll go Mass Chameleon, Mass Chameleon, summon, sink, and then attack for game. Unless he has some kind of... Do, do they have some kind of Battle Fader esque monster? I think they do. I really do. I think they do. Oh my god, 40 minutes! <coughs> 20 minutes, it's a duel, 20 minutes. Alright, he's gonna go ahead and summon his Trumpeteer. And activate Torrential. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, trying to think of an ultimate. Yeah, I'll get ultimate. Uh, I'll get the effect. Yeah, I'll get the effect. Because okay, now since he used it, I do have the Oasis, so I could just go Oasis and summon and attack him for game. This was like, there's some properly, so I can still summon it and just won't get the effect. I don't get it to effect when Synchrotron, but I can still get its effect from uh, just attacking. Like I said, I think they do have some kind of Battle Fader esque monster, so let's find out. Let's go ahead and risk the biscuit. I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I should have done this during his fucking end phase. That was dumb. That uh, was fucking dumb. I'm dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb. Wow. I keep on forgetting that I can't change the battle position to turn that special summoned. Fuck. This duel is going on so long, I'm fucking getting delirious from fucking sitting here dueling so long. That was dumb. That was dumb. I was like, oh yeah, you know, I could just activate it and then change the battle position. Like, no, you can't. I should have done it during the end phase. So then, during your end phase, summon, turn to attack, attack. He still has six cards. This is crazy. This man has been keeping up resources this entire duel. I said, I just won in this duel. I said, I think they have some kind of battle fair guy. Like I said, if I lost this duel because I fucked up, then that's my bad. But God. Then he has to pull something off, unless he has a... Like I said, don't they have a Battle Fader esque monster? I don't know enough about Super Heavy Thermites. I'm learning a lot more, though. That's cool. So I think it's that one guy who's like, I can't be destroyed by battle. It's fine. I'm going to destroy you by card effect, though. So... Oh, it's just Giant Rat. Which, of course, I'm destroying you by card effect. I said, oh, okay. Finally! <laughs> GG! Finally! <laughs> Battle Fader Monster. Question mark. I really did. I thought they had some kind of Battle Fader Monster. Don't they? Uh, uh, super, I mean, Samurais, don't they? Samurai, no? Hmm, not quite. And I, I, I don't know about anything about this deck. How does it work? Do you have that card? Can I see it? Because I, I kind of swore that they had some kind of, it's like if it's a... Uh, you did, you did, you did fine. You did fine. I thought you <laughs> Thought you were a pro. The deck. You were you were doing better than me. I'm sitting here fucking up. Oh my god. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go. Good door. <laughs> there we go. We can finally end this video, people. Oh my god, I'm gonna go ahead and look at Super Heavy Samurai because I could have sworn they had some kind of Battle Fader S monster, but hey. So finally, it's over. <laughs> Thanks to him torrentaling my tear. Thank you. Thank you for grabbing my torrental back in tear and hitting me with that. Thank you. So <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed Super Heavy Samurai. I told you it's so long. So of course, we'll be back tomorrow with Super Vicey Bell. And then next week, we're just gonna just do a different lineup. Why not? <laughs> Why not? See a couple of Ubel decks that are on Vine and Y. See maybe if we want to take up one of them and put them on as uh, uh, the lineup. So I hope that you guys enjoy. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. See you guys tomorrow.